BC is famous for its salmon, but there will soon be competition from a genetically modified variety on store shelves. Health Canada has approved what critics are calling a frankenfish, and now a local member of parliament is raising concerns because shoppers won't know if it makes its way onto their tables. CTV's Ben Milger reports. Salmon, the ocean's natural superfood, is about to come in a very unnatural variety. Health Canada has given the green light to an American company that wants to sell genetically modified fish to Canadians, taking DNA from a Chinook salmon and a sea eel and merging them with an Atlantic salmon. Aqua Bounty is able to produce a farmed fish that grows much faster. Health Canada says, given that no health and safety concerns were identified, there are no special labels. Labeling requirements. You know, I know that there's uh, health concerns about this fish. A lot of Canadians are very conscious, increasingly so, about what they're ingesting. BC salmon farmers take issue as well, particularly with the lack of special labeling. We think there's uh, certainly going to be consumer confusion if there's a, a transgenic fish uh, that's not labeled next to a, a fish grown in a natural way uh, in an ocean environment, and we think it's important that uh, people understand what they're buying. Here in BC, consumers have a lot of choice when it comes to fresh and wild seafood. And for many, the idea of buying genetically modified fish simply doesn't hold water. I would avoid it like the plague. That's a concern for sure if you don't know what you're buying if you do want the fresh. Not everyone is opposed provided the modified salmon is healthy and cheap. No, as long as the price is right. Aqua Bounty says it still hasn't decided if it will voluntarily label the GMO fish, meaning wild seafood might be the only option for consumers who want to be sure what they're getting. That's true, getting it right off the boat, still flipping around in the bag. <laughs> the genetically modified salmon could be on store shelves in a little over a year. Ben Milger, CTV News, Vancouver.